Basically, I don't know what I call contract labor system. I'm start with this song. You are the love. Let your name be glorified. You are the love. Let your name be glorified. I give you love. And all. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. Of course, the contract labor system, South Africa and Namibia, were just used by the colonialists to rip off workers, make sure they didn't get the correct wages. So oppression of workers has been going on for a while. But let me start with the prophecy. I see a strike in the higher institution, eventually coming to an end, protracted strike. But I think the workers are smiling all the way because eventually uh, the employer had to cave in you know uh, but the scriptures do have a lot of things to say about you know uh, in employee employer relationship just let's just go to one of them james chapter 5 verse 4 look the wages you with help from the workmen who mold your fields are crying out against you the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the lord of hosts so if you are in any kind of you know, employee, employer situation, do not deny your workers their wages. Or you get someone to, you know, uh, do any kind of thing, even around the room. You know, make sure you pay them fair wages because those cries actually reach the ears of God. And God is going to intervene on their behalf and it's going to be very problematic. So if you're an employer of labor or you are in any kind of employment relationship, just make sure that you're very fair to those that you're dealing with. You know, negotiate in such a way that, you know, uh, they are not put at a disadvantage because God listens to the laboring person and God intervenes in their situation. And of course, if you're a laboring person, person know that God is on your side, you know, and you will always, you know, you always listen because God, you know, uh, encourages dignity in labor. 